I'm Ernie with Best There Is Entertainment. This is Press Best, where we bring you spoilers, rumors, leaks, and news from the pop culture world. Today, we're going to be talking about Shazam. Shazam 2, matter of fact. Shazam Fury of the Gods. Now, like I tell everybody, make sure you guys know these are only rumors, spoilers, what do you want to call it? They are real. They're spoilers. This one's really odd, the way the leakers have been explaining it. I don't really feel like a lot of this is going to be accurate. I feel like parts of it is going to be accurate, but we'll see. Um, I'll give you guys the rundown of the kind of what the story is going to be. And we'll see how it all goes after that. So we already know that we're going to be dealing with Hesperia and Calypso. They're the main two villains of the film. In the film, we're going to have them hit up some museum. They're looking for some special relic or something with this, this staff, this special staff that has like the power of Shazam or something like that. Everyone that's explaining it is explaining it in different ways, which I find it really, really weird. That's why I'm glad to give it to you guys the way I'm hearing it. So, you know, it's like not just one way. People are kind of saying, oh, it's like this and it works like that. All this sounds like is there's a very powerful staff and maybe some other relic knights it and makes it even more powerful but we think as soon as they do it would make the end of the movie because they could destroy the world by then but what we learned is this staff was originally used to kill their father atlas and the killer was shazam and no it wasn't our shazam our little billy it was a shazam from a previous incarnation so they are coming back and they're basically looking for revenge looking for this power source and this is how the movie's gonna get started up so the story of the movie is gonna focus on billy turning 18 and just quite not sure what's coming up next in life who's gonna care for him who's gonna be there for him what's gonna change you know you're part of a foster family things are different and on top of it he is a superhero now so being an adult superhero is gonna be a whole different ball game now the main reason why we know shazam figure the gods is gonna take place after this film is because people complained about the costume change and the director joked it was all barry's fault from changing the timelines hinting at it, this happens after the film it seems after the last movie and Flash as well that everybody is pretty aware about the superheroes, you know, and they're aware of, about Shazam and the Shazam family after what happened. Again, this is supposed to be in the same world as Batman vs Superman where everyone knew about that, but it seems like they're not really drawing to that point. While in the lair, they talk about these things and they reflected on the responsibility. And now what really bugs me is the next part. People say that the older wizard Shazam, the original Shazam supposedly, the old wizard Shazam returns and he just wants to talk to Billy and tell Billy like, hey, you need to get more mature you need to grow up all kinds of weird stuff that i didn't expect him to say and it just seems really odd and out of place for the film but again multiple leakers have said this and it just seems really really out of context basically kind of paying the whole picture of him growing up is the subplot i guess of the story again where the wizard shazam comes from i don't really understand where he's at is he hanging out in the lair kicking it with the kids i don't really know they don't make it clear basically he's telling them he wants them to lead this team and be the main guy and be the shazam that he's supposed to be even though last time he did share out all the Shazam power so it seems like they should be a team but I don't know it's very contradicting he just wants to be ready for what's up next. And then what comes next is Freddy's digging on some girl. He basically likes this girl and on IMDb she's titled as Alice. So it's really weird because they have the sisters that are the daughter of Alice. So she may just be a daughter. Now they're saying that she is possibly, you know, since she's a sister, she's possibly another daughter of Atlas. But it doesn't really make quite sense why IMDb already has her under as Atlas. It could be all wrong for all I know. But Freddy and this girl, whoever she may be, they hit it off and they basically hang out get to know each other they both don't know they both have secret identity type things going on because you know freddy's got his little side baby shazam gig and she's got her own gig which again we're not sure they're titling her as alice they've never given her a superhero name yet or a villain name yet whatever she's gonna play as there's been a lot of rumors to who she could be but the way this movie plays out it doesn't really follow what people are believing so freddy and uh as they are calling her alice get to talk to each other and they eventually reveal uh some stuff to each other so freddie and alice once they get alone and i'm just gonna call her atlas for the sake of you know not saying that girl uh they get alone they get to talk and chat it up and eventually they get kidnapped by her sisters tespria and eclipso to me all this stuff sounds very minimal writing like not a lot of creativity in it and it makes me really hard to believe just because how well done the first shazam was i'm not really here to judge it just to kind of deliver the news of what is being told but a lot of it just doesn't seem to add up and seems like if this is the route they're going it's getting kind of sloppy so while the two older sisters take them away basically and lock up freddy i'm believing they're at titan at this point so they're jumping back from earth to titan which is kind of an odd thing to do there's just easier ways to take over and take out good guys and destroy planets and things like that while freddy's captive there we learn that hesperia isn't really 
down with everything that's going on, which is odd again to me. If she was already with Eclipso there, stealing the staff, stealing the relic, whatever it was they're doing, she's not really comfortable with the actions of how they're doing it, and she just kind of wants to follow her father's footsteps. And, and they basically feel like they need to destroy the planet or wherever the Shazam is and take the Shazam's powers or whatever their villainous plan is. But it seems like Hesperia is coming to the point where she's understanding, like, wait, maybe revenge thing isn't all what it's cracked out to be. This has been a long time. This guy's a kid. It's I, just, just a lot of different things. So it just seems like really bad writing backtracking if this is what the movie's going to be. And there's people that are swearing up and down, you know, all these different leakers and stuff like that are swearing up and down. This is the story. And then you're going to find it really weird that this character that I'm calling Atlas, because that's what it is on IMDb, ends up just disappearing between the story and doesn't come back until the end. And I find that very, very weird, to be honest with you. So somehow, I don't know how they know where Freddy's at. They say, and I say by the leakers and all those guys, that Freddy somehow gets saved. I don't know what happens to the Atlas girl character, whoever she is. But somehow, the Shazam good old family come down, they save Freddy, and they bring him back home to the lair. And while they're at the lair, they're trying to figure out what's going on. I assume Freddy knows all what's going on as far as their evil diabolical sister plan. And Shazam, Billy wants to make amends with them or not let this get really crazy and again this is a weird take on a superhero to a villain where he wants to write her a letter kind of like let's call it truce so there's supposed to be like this funny part with like the pen named steve or something flying around and books are flying around and all kinds of different magical things are in the air and so basically steve the pen writes out the letter to hesperia for shazam and her to meet so they do end a meeting and they meet up at some like fast food joint or a restaurant or something like that i believe they're outdoors basically she blames it on her sister she's the good one basically she doesn't want to follow through with their plans again the younger sister is nowhere to be found in this part far as the leakers are concerned either if they're leaking this they're not reading the whole thing or they're not getting the correct information so supposedly shazam and her talk but then boom out of nowhere here comes a clip so she comes with a bunch of magical things and again they talk about more gags that were set up through the film and things happen and people are dying hesperia bites the big one eclipso kills her sister blasphemy so with this whole thing of billy trying to mature it's really odd to me they turned it into something at least within this league screening people are saying that they saw all, that the more mature he gets the more powerful he's getting as far as billy getting more mature and that makes him more powerful that's something i've never seen in the comics in a really really weird way to make his character come off like the more mature you are the more stronger you're gonna get it just doesn't play off well so Billy being more mature, he's like, hey, I'm gonna go take on Eclipso by myself and get that staff and not let her destroy the world. Now, to me, that's one of the stupidest things you could do. You'd want your team there and you guys all to do it. But again, they're, they're trying to show an arc of Billy being more mature, being able to handle things with his own responsibility by himself. Again, I feel like this is kind of stupid and really bad writing to be like, no guys, I got it from here. When the stake of the world is at hand, you think you need all hands on deck. And again, let me remind everybody, the younger sister has not been brought up yet by any of these people that are leaking the story. So either this is really poor writing or people are getting this movie wrong. So he ends up meeting up with Calypso and they end up having a fight. And with his maturity, he becomes a lot more stronger and he gets the staff, she gets the staff. And basically somehow they both die from an explosion with so much power. They die from a bunch of power, okay? That's what supposedly happens. The staff blows them up, all right? So he's back in child form. He got knocked out so bad that he went from Shazam back to Billy. And the kicker to all of it is Billy is dead. This is what they're reporting, ladies and gents. This childlike family movie, Billy is dead. Come on. Are you going to buy into it? Are you going to get sad? Are you going to cry? No, because we know movies can't end like this, that are happy like this, and that are not R-rated. It's a comic book movie, so Billy's most likely going to be coming right back out. So when Billy is dead at this time, this is when we finally see the younger sister, they say. She shows up, she brings him back to Titan, and they end up burying him on Titan with the broken staff placed in his grave somehow. Now, here's one of the dumbest things I read out of all this. Through the movie, they're making jokes about him liking Wonder Woman. And I mean, okay, I guess any 18-year-old may love Gil Gadot or Wonder Woman. Then the weird thing is they make jokes about it through the whole thing when this was such a sensitive subject with the Joss Whedon over-sexualizing her. Yet, through the whole Shazam movie, 
there's jokes nonstop about Billy having this huge crush on her and they're making fun of him about it and almost over sexualizing her. So I feel like that wouldn't make it into the film. We have a while until it comes out and they're doing cuts as we speak. So I don't know if they're going to really say, yeah, let's do this. But here's the weird thing. Gil Gadot must be okay with this. And first of all, I'm not saying Gil Gadot is okay with this because this may not be true at all. She shows up at the end as Wonder Woman. For what reason? None. There'd be no reason for her to show up at Shazam's grave. They've never teamed up. She might have heard stories about him, but that is about it. Unless somehow through Flash or Black Adam they connect, there is no reason for Wonder Woman to appear in Shazam 2. But according to all these leakers, she does. She grabs both sides of the each staff and puts them together with all her superpower and strength. She ends up forcing them together and they mold and the staff is now one. I can't say staff on one because that's Nico's staff in the runaways. But it's a staff of power and that staff revives Billy. I don't know if they pull him out of the ground and he's zombie-like, but I doubt they can do that. But he's alive and he's Billy and he, everything's okay. Why was Wonder Woman there? I have no idea. Where was the young girl? I have no idea. Then it cuts back and it shows Billy's with his family. It all worked out well. They still care about him even though he's 18 and he's all very mature now the world is saved all the families eating the girl that never appeared through the whole film suffer the beginning and the end is sitting and eating with freddy that's his love interest i guess and that's it that's all they have for the film so for our big return of shazam which i thought shazam was an amazing movie it appealed to a different audience and it didn't really hold those dark tones if this is what we're gonna get i'm just gonna lose my mind like that would be nuts if this is the story now like i tell everybody Take this with a rock of salt. I believe a lot of this outline is very possible because we are getting Hesperia. We are getting Eclipse. We know these characters are going to be in it for sure. You could check out any article about the casting and the IMDb link. And again, IMDb people mess around with sometimes, so that can't be 100% accurate. Just like I said, the young girl who is a love interest of Freddy, she is called Atlas on there. Now, different gods, when they die, they do pass on the names at times. Now, it all depends on the storyteller because it just depends on the situation and how they want to tell it. Some gods, when they're dead, they're dead. Some gods pass down it like a mantle. Shazam is a type of god that has a mantle passed down. Now again, a lot of this, again, could be a good outline for what's going on, but I do believe there's going to be a few changes or people are just making up their things, trying to get clickbait. Don't blame them. We all want to get people to watch our stuff, but I actually think that a lot of this is not going to play out the way it's going to play. There will be elements of this. I truly do believe there will be elements, but there's not going to be so much disregard to the family. And Billy will be probably working on this idea of being a grown up because, of course, that would be something someone that's been through what he's been through through would actually think about but the point of him being more mature makes him more powerful is going to be kind of weird because part of shazam gaining that wisdom is already in the name so it is odd to me that they'd use that as a way to fuel his power and the big thing too is eclipso was made up for the movie she is a greek god in the mythology but far as dc goes there's no history of her so for the big showdown to be them two fighting over a stick a staff and then risking themselves to both blow up at the same time it just doesn't make quite sense and doesn't seem like the climax we would like at the end of the film and the whole Gal Gadot thing seems a bit of a stretch if we do it it's going to be really really silly who knows if they do it really bad where it's just her feet we see her walk up we see her boots we see her arms grab it just like Henry Cavell didn't show up at the end of the first Shazam and it's just like a body double that'd be really bad but if they do run with this whole gag through the whole movie about him crushing on Gil Gadot and then she shows up at the end coincidentally just to revive him it just doesn't make sense and if it does happen I feel really bad because I think this movie just serves a whole lot better but again i'm just giving you guys what the leakers are giving out and what people are spreading around i don't know if this is going to be the exact thing we will find out there was a lot of silly things in it the other one had some silly stuff but it was more tongue-in-cheek and a very fun movie at that but that's all i have for right now you guys can sit there and digest it maybe figure it out figure out where it goes from here the trailer's not going to drop for a little bit so we have time and again they're doing a lot of reshoots all these movies are doing reshoots right now for the dc cinema universe you may not 
notice, but a lot of them have gotten pushed back as well, so the original release dates will not be happening. This would be one of those times I for sure would love to see people's comments and let me know what you think about this whole story and where they're trying to go with it, because to me, it seems very sloppy if this is it. And again, don't think this is it for sure, because a lot of these times these leakers, their sources could be off. There's some times where we've gotten sources that have told us things to a T. Everything I mentioned in the Doctor Strange breakdown of the whole story already appeared in the trailer, and this was way before the trailer. So there are people that actually have sources. There are people that work for Marvel that come out and tell these things. So a lot of times these things can be true. I hope it's not correct because I think this movie deserves a whole lot more, and it just seems very simple-minded. I believe there's a, a lot of other things that could open up from this, and I'm hoping that even though this may be the base of the story, all the good meaty parts are still out there and we're going to learn about that so again i thank you guys for listening to me watching me whatever you're doing i really do appreciate it we are trying our hardest to grow and get bigger and bigger and get out there more we really do appreciate all the watches all the help all the shares make sure you guys like subscribe share let everybody know about us and all the fun things we do we always have a lot more fun content coming up always check out the podcast where we talk all things pop culture you could just kick us on on any platform that has podcasts or you could just watch us on YouTube where we do the live in studio podcast. Either way, you could come check us out. And that's it all I have for you guys right now. There's a lot more news that's coming, a bunch of spoilers that are coming. And I can't wait to get them to you guys, but it takes a while to put these together and pull all the pieces and find all the info from the different people. So please be a little patient, but I will be coming back with more. Till next time, guys. Thank you. See ya. See ya.